Something I find interesting is how many people who espouse certain types of opinions really, really hate it when they're called alt-right. And yet those same people turn around and call anyone who's the left of Trump an SJW. You think people should be happy with the label of SJW, but you're not happy with the label of alt-right. That's kind of hypocritical as far as I'm concerned. Having said that, can you imagine what the reaction from the alt-right and the anti-SJW side and just many people that are on the general right would have if Anita Sarkeesian got her channel terminated? A lot of you would be, you know, it'd be a lot of schadenfreude, if I'm pronouncing that right. There'd be a lot of that. There'd be a lot of people gloating. But people would come up with some, some way of saying that, oh, it's, it's different when it's someone on the left. It's different if it's happening to a feminist. It's different. Sure it is. Yeah. Now, as I've stated before, and I've tried to make it clear, I'm not saying it's the right decision for YouTube to have terminated Black Pigeon Speaks channel for a period of time and then got it back because people whined and bitched enough. I'm not saying that they initially made the right decision. I am saying, though, that, yeah, I, I kind of gloated about it. I, I, I was, uh, part of me was kind of happy about it. Part of me. Emotionally, I... I thought, hey, this is cool. Finally. You know, something's going to happen to to someone, a piece of shit like him. There are, are so many people out there who will try to argue that, no, he's, he's not a piece of shit. Well, he's, he's tried to deplatform others. You know? And his positions really are, you know, he goes, he goes a long, long roundabout way of saying it. His, his positions really are that women are the cause of the decline of civilization. Giving women rights is, is the cause of the, the decline of, of the civilization. And he believes that, essentially, that black people aren't compatible with white culture. I mean, he's, he's, he believes in things that are considered misogynistic and racist, but apparently we're not supposed to label those things that way. It reminds me of a... I was watching a video. It was a debate between Destiny and Mr. Reagan. And Mr. Reagan would try to claim that uh, if an employer doesn't want to hire someone based on their assumption of the color of their skin... Oh, that's not really racist. And I'm, I'm, we're just... And Destiny was just like, what? What are you talking about? How can you claim that's not racist? And he went some roundabout way of saying, oh, it's, it may not actually be racism. And then Destiny tried to get him to, to, to declare, okay, what is it that someone would have to be for you to consider them racist? And Mr. Reagan, oh, I, I've never really thought about that. Oh, and, and he just tries to weave around it. And it's just like, come on, dude. You can't, you, you can't claim that you've never thought about that. You know, he... he it was so pathetic. Now, some people will try to try to claim that Mr. Reagan is the one that was winning the whole time because he actually had retorts to what Destiny was saying, but uh, come on, you know? There are, there are really some people who try to declare that, that there, it's, it's essentially someone has to say that they're racist in order for them to be racist. Oh, well, if they say they're not racist, and uh, they, 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 they must not be racist then. That kind of argumentation, you know? And that's kind of what uh, people are doing to Black Pigeon Speaks when it comes to misogyny and racism. Same sort of thing. So, yeah, when I, when I see something negative happen to someone who is very racist, who is homophobic, who thinks that... Human's only worth is that which creates children, you know, create, has families, creates children biologically. The only purpose in life is that. 
Yeah, when, when something ha- negative happens to someone like that, yeah, I'm going to gloat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile. It may not be the right thing, but I'm still going to smile. I'm still going to bask in, the, in, the, in what happened. Apparently, I'm, I'm supposed to be above that. No, I'm sorry. I'm not above, above being human. Anyway, I went to Point Defiance a little earlier today and uh, went to their rose garden and uh, took a bunch of pictures, and I thought I'd share some of them with you. Not that, that, not that this is an appropriate place to leave them, but, you know, here you go anyway. <laughs> 